I'm sitting on my desk and I wanted to go through all the syllabuses I have. For example, this one is the first one. I'm usually going through what I need to buy or maybe some things that I need to prepare before the first class. For example, in this class, I need to do a survey which will end on Fridays. I need to go through the, the lecture that's gonna be tomorrow. about the lighting and my face is a little bit oily but that's not a problem uh, what I was trying to say is that I wanted to share with you my essential tip for every student and the tip is about the planner or a diary I'm a more a planner because I just call it diary but that's a planner I use my planner it looks like this as you can see it's pink and you can see my face over here so this is a basic planner with lines all the way here i'll show you some of my pages i usually write all my plans over there and this is really really useful when you have to just to follow your plan during the day and you will be done and then you can just check all the plans so you're good to go but this is not just basic planner so this is a basic planner it's separated into different sections for example right here uh, this section is in dots and the last section is in just blank page so if you prefer i don't know drawing or doing something that is you are comfortable with go ahead and i usually prefer undesigned planners because i like organize everything by myself and i think it's really good because you can i don't know you can just organize it how you want and put stickers or just organize the week in regular planner they usually organize everything in the same way all over the year and i'm just getting tired of seeing this every week and one thing that i found out when i came here to my university is that my university usf university provides students with free planners and as you can see this one is so cute i really like and they change their cover every year i think yeah every year for example here is our bowl in msc marshall student center um so here as you can see this is just like write your name email phone if it gets lost or i don't know something like this is how the months looks like January and then the week looks like this so as you can see every day is in columns separated into columns and it's quite good for students who don't want to pay because you just free one I really love how they organize everything because it's USF it's in green and gold go bulls but I prefer unorganized planners and the second advice that I wanted to share is you have to plan everything beforehand because when I came here to the university, I realized that everything is just so new and I was lost during the first week because I was so excited because wow, in my university, there are so many different people, there are so many different clubs that I wanted to participate, I want to go there, over there. But the thing is that I just got lost in all of those chaos, everything was new, but I think that you have to remember, you have to prepare for your classes. Yeah, I, I'm not saying I didn't do my homework or I didn't participate in the class. Yeah, I did everything at this, but I forgot about my exams. I didn't prepare for them because I know in the second week, like um, the material 
is getting harder a little bit from the previous week and the third week is just preparing for your exams because the first exam is usually not so important but still it's an exam and you, you just have to be ready for that but i didn't expect it to be so hard as i don't know maybe i i just wasn't ready for something and i didn't and i didn't study for the study guide that my professor provided with us but and i got um i got c for that exam but for a second exam i used my study guide i studied my material beforehand and i just uh, also me and my friend we study a lot for that exam and, and i'm just so grateful that she helped me with this class everything was great i got a for this exam for the second exam and for third and for project we had a project and i got a plus with that class so hopefully i just used my own advice and i tried to do everything beforehand and i just when my classes started for the second semester i went through all my syllabuses and my professors provided with us if i know sometimes it's hard to like put everything into one week and to be successful in your classes and not forget about going out actually you can do it if you will proper manage your time your success in your classes and your success in your personal life yeah i guess this is what i wanted to share <laughs> Hey guys, right now I'm doing my math class. This is what I'm writing and this is how I'm studying because it firstly was in Cultura, then my professor switched to YouTube because for some reason it wasn't, I don't know what happened, but, but it didn't work and some students were just worried about that they couldn't do their homework and of course that's a problem so he decided to switch to youtube and just uh, use canvas for all the things that he does i think then i'm gonna maybe have lunch and go outside also i need to do another class today i think i need to do two classes i need to read a huge article and then do a quiz and after that i wanna to do another class but you know the time flies so fast and i'm also sometimes procrastinating and i'm also doing something else besides my homework maybe checking my phone because it's just right near to me 30 minutes passes and i'm still not done with my homework and i'm still in the same place that i was an hour ago so here we go i'm sitting here and trying to be productive but not product just do my homework by the weekend because I'm tired of this. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Bye.
how and why. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Why the cottage room close? Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the juice.